So Mahfouz is one of the uh, the few authors that you've worked on who um, isn't around for you to have any um, contact with. How did you find the contrast between living between working with uh, living with uh, working with living authors and dead authors? Uh, yeah, it's crucial um, because my method of working is um, has consistently been to produce a first draft, um, then a second draft, and at the end of that second draft, going as I go along, I mark passages that I need help on, that I don't fully understand, either at any level, um, whatever it may be. And um, my first um, resort is to the author, of yeah. course, um, and which involves, in the case of Elias uh, Khoury, going to Beirut to, mm -hmm. to see him there. Um, Though in the case of Gate of the Sun, it just so happened that he was in Egypt at the time that we were doing mm -hmm. it. And I subjected him to a monster nine-hour yeah. um, session in a very hot apartment in Alexandria, which yeah. saw him stripped down to his uh, undershirt by the time we'd finished. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that, it's mm -hmm. crucial to have those people around. If you don't, if you're doing, for example, with Nagib Mahfouz, then mm -hmm. obviously I'm looking, f I look for... I go to friends mm -hmm. who are writers or uh, and or translators, mm -hmm. and but above all, you know, people who read literature intelligently. And yeah. It's not enough that they are native speakers of Arabic by any mm -hmm. manner of means. Um, and um, I've um, Hamdi Ghazar, who's an Egyptian uh, novelist, uh, writer of uh, Black Magic, um, and eventually to be published in translation, Secret Pleasures. Yeah. Um, he's been immense help to me, and um, a much younger colleague um, called Ahmed Shaukat, who translates mm -hmm. from English into Arabic. Mm -hmm. um, these are both people who can, you know, who, 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 who know the, the, the ins and outs of literature, how literature works, yeah. um, and, and bring a intelli very intelligent mind to it. Nevertheless, at the end of the day, sometimes we all sit there and stare at the page and say, well, not quite sure what he did mean, yeah. you know? Um, and in that case, you just have to make the best of it. Yeah, and that, that's one of the beauties, I suppose, of, um, of one of the many beauties of translation, in that it, it, it becomes this social process where you we really, you, it's, it's an exchange of ideas, an exchange of, um, of, uh, of experiences. Um, in a lecture you gave at the American University in Cairo, you spoke about the, uh, the Olympian distance that exists um, mm in terms of uh, academia, uh, mm -hmm. between the, um, the researcher and their subject. Mm -hmm. um, is this one of the reasons why perhaps you, you didn't go into academia? Do you have any plans at all to go into academia? Or? No, um, I, I, well, I went so far as to get a PhD, yeah. so I must have had sort of somewhere in the back Some of my mind that this yeah. might have yeah. led to an academic career, yeah. though I think, um, as perhaps throughout my entire life, I've sort of put one foot in front of the next, and mm -hmm. um, rather than thinking, where it ultimately would lead. Um, but I think of myself, actually, in some way, as a, as a scholar, but as an mm -hmm. independent scholar, not because of the modern translations, translations mm -hmm. of modern literature I've, that I've done, but because of some other things that I've, yeah. I've, I've done. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure I ever would have been happy in or successful in mm -hmm. academia mm -hmm. um, for reasons that have to do somehow with the institutional atmosphere or mm -hmm. something which I never stifling found completely. I beg your pardon? Stifling. Yes, a bit stifling. Mm -hmm. um, the it, One has witnessed from a distance so many petty quarrels mm -hmm. that have be yeah. been devastating to people's lives. I mean, somebody once said cynically, you know, they, they, the, 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 the battles are so fierce because the prizes are so small. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's, uh, it's not... Um, also, I don't believe that, in fact, you have to be in academia to be a scholar. Yeah. Uh, there are possibilities. And academic training is obviously yeah. um, necessary. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are people who pursue scholarly interests outside mm -hmm. of academia. Yes. Well, of course, there, there is that semantic difference between academic and, and scholar, in, in the sense the scholar, uh, the emphasis on finding something new. Right. Um, and I, I guess that would be one yeah. of the, the pleasures of being a translator. Again, of, sure. of coming across new things, introducing um, books and ideas that wouldn't have otherwise um, made their, their debut. I mean, um, the Akuban building, again, changed things. It, it, it allowed um, audiences to think that, yes, works in translation, mm -hmm. um, 
cute mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. it can be sort of mm-hmm. Uh, mm. momentous in that way that's true uh, yeah. but when I partly when I use the word Olympian viewpoint or whatever mm. I said exactly um, about academia I was had particularly in mind academic studies of translation right which uh, and academic teaching of translation mm-hmm. um, which I I remain somewhat cynical or cynical is not the right word but I mean mm. um, I, I, in, in the theories Theory, I think, is mm-hmm. the first thing that any translator throws out the window when they yeah. actually get down to work. Mm-hmm. It, may be, it, may, it may be very useful to have acquainted oneself, oneself with possible different views of exoticism and what would be the opposite, endocism, um, yeah. but um, mm-hmm. that that plays itself out in the process that your mind goes through when you're translating, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, so. Yes, good for analysis, um, post fact. Whether it, how much it actually feeds into good translation mm-hmm. um, at the moment of creation, I have no idea. I remain slightly cynical. Mm. And what projects are you currently working on? Um, well, I've got. Uh, I think it's is it three books that are in the hopper. That's to say that are actually submitted mm-hmm. and will be out this year. I presume one is. Um, a retranslation of Nigib Mahfouz's Medak um, Ali mm-hmm. um, for AUC. For AUC, yeah. yes. Um, and um, uh, Murid El Barhuti's I Was Born Here, I Was Born There, which is a sequel to his I Saw Ramallah. Oh, um, and that would be published uh, jointly by mm-hmm. Bloomsbury and um, AUC Press. Mm-hmm. Um, and the third is um, a totally different sort of a book. It's um, written by Ak- Akmeleddin Ehsan Ulu, who is the Secretary General of the Organization of the Islamic Conference. But more importantly, he's a Turk mm-hmm. who's, uh, who grew up in, in Egypt. And um, he has devoted his life, his, his, his scholarly life, his spare time, no doubt, to um, documenting the impact of Turkish uh, culture mm-hmm. um, in the Ottoman period, mm. Mm, the late Ottoman period, mm. I mean, really in the 19th century, we could mm. say, um, on, on Egyptian culture, and especially in the form of um, printed books. I mean, mm. Did you know, for example, that of the first 200 books printed mm. at the Bullet Press, more than 30%, I think, were, in, were, were books in Turkish. Mm. Um, and uh, he, so he's written this large, scholarly, incredibly meticulously documented mm. study, which yes. I translated, not from the Turkish, but from the, tra- the Arabic translation, which was mm-hmm. his wish. Um, so that's also on the stocks. Now, right now, I'm working on um, a fascinating book by a little, uh, uh, an underappreciated, mm-hmm. but perhaps starting to be appreciated, writer uh, from Lebanon of uh, the mid-19th century, mm-hmm. um, Faris al-Shidiyaq. Um, the book is called Asaq al-Asaq fi ma'ahu al-Fariyaq, leg upon leg, concerning what that, what, what is al-Fariyaq. Mm-hmm. Uh, Al-Fariyaq is actually a combination of his two names. It's the mm-hmm. first part of his first name and the last part of his yeah. name. So it's, a, it's an incredible book. It's um, a sort of um, Tristram Shandy, mm. uh, um, eccentric autobiography yeah. with pages devoted, um, as explicitly stated by the author as one of his aims, devoted to the virtues of women, mm-hmm. um, and um, a huge amount of um, lexical and general linguistic scholarship. Um, and. It's a key work, probably, in the early Arab Renaissance or Nahda, mm-hmm. um, which has never been translated before. Um, so I'm working on that as part of the new lang- uh, 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 Library of Arabic Literature, mm-hmm. which is a series that's going to be like the Loeb series with mm-hmm. the parallel text and um, translation um, for the New York University um, in Abu Dhabi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, uh, after that, I have two more Egyptian novels that I hope to be translating um, early, first half of next year. Yeah. So that's what's actually going on at the moment. Yeah. Busy man then. Yeah, very fortunately, <laughs> I'm glad to say. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, join us. And-